Hello, my name is Joshua Croker, and today I will be talking about peregrine falcons, which are some of the most interesting birds on this planet. I used Wikipedia for most of my information, but I got a little bit of my information from a website called One Kind Planet. You can look up either of them for more information, or if you don't believe what I'm saying, to confirm that it's true. Peregrine falcons have a mid-sized body with a length of 13 to 23 inches. The females are actually larger than the males, sometimes even 30% larger and 50% heavier. Peregrines have bluish-gray backs and wings, and their belly is white with some rusty specks and with bands of black and dark brown color. The beak is mostly yellow, but it has a notched tip that is black. Peregrine falcons are found everywhere on Earth, except for tall mountains, extreme polar areas, and rainforests. Some peregrines pass through Canada or Central Asia during their migration, spending their summers in Alaska or North Asia and winters in America, Mexico, Europe, or South Asia. Others will stay year-round in coastal America, Western South America, Africa, India, or Australia. It can be rather difficult to remember all of these names of countries and continents, so the best way to remember is what I said previously. They are found everywhere on Earth, except for tall mountains, extreme polar areas, and rainforests. Peregrine falcons do not have many predators when they are full grown. The only things that eat them are eagles, large owls, and gyre falcons. But when they are in the nest, they face more dangers. Other peregrines Ravens, herons, gulls, and owls are all threats to the nest. A nest on the ground also faces foxes, wolverines, cats, bears, and wolves. In the 1950s, 60s, and 70s, peregrines were threatened by pesticides and lost a lot of their numbers, but they have since recovered and are now off the endangered species list. Peregrines are territorial and keep their nests at least half a mile apart. Within their territory, a pair may use several nesting ledges. When they are making a nest, the female scrapes out an area on top of a cliff, but adds no materials, unlike most birds. In their mating ritual, peregrines use a bunch of acrobatic aerial maneuvers, spirals, and dives. And most spectacularly, the male will actually pass food to the female in midair. In order to do this, the female actually goes upside down to receive the air. Food. <laughs> I've never seen this, but I imagine it would be quite a spectacular sight. Speaking of food, Peregrines eat medium-sized birds, such as pigeons, doves, waterfowl, songbirds, wading birds, and also sometimes small hawks or owls. They do not normally eat mammals, but occasionally they will eat bats or rodents. They hunt during dawn and dusk in large open areas like open water, valleys, fields, and tundra. Lately, some peregrines have been living in cities on top of tall bridges and, and buildings, which are actually quite similar to the cliffs they nest on in the wild. When they're in urban areas, Peregrines tend to eat mostly pigeons. In some cities, pigeons actually 
make up 80% of their diet. But the relationship between peregrines and humans goes back much longer than modern cities. They have been used by hunters for over 3,000 years. What makes them so popular? They are both fast and have a pleasant demeanor that makes them easy to train. In medieval times, they were kind of considered royal because they were used by princes for hunting. In that medieval hierarchy of hunting birds, only the gyre falcon was considered better as it was used by kings. The thing that makes peregrines so impressive in hunting is their dive. They can dive over 200 miles an hour, making them the fastest animal on the planet. In comparison, the cheetah, which is often talked about when you're thinking of fast animals, only goes less than 80 miles per hour. With its dive, the peregrine swoops down on its prey and stuns it, allowing the peregrine to easily tear it apart and eat it. When defending their nests, peregrines have actually killed birds as large as golden or bald eagles. They also have a unique bone structure in their nose that redirects the airflow to avoid damage to their lungs. This also inspired the first jet engine. This unique dive and nose structure makes peregrines some of the most amazing birds on the planet. Thank you for listening, and feel free to critique this speech from my blog.